Coast is clear. Everybody get the hell inside! Where's the kid? Hey. What the hell happened? This is all your fault. My fault? This was my first gig I had with you. You were the experienced ones here. Yeah, we're the experienced ones. None of our past jobs have ended with us empty-handed and hunted down like dogs with pigs. So the Grand Master wanted his precious little daughter to come join us. We should have left you on the side of the road as soon as we saw you in the back of the van. My father was just killed. Why not show a little decency? Oh, what's the matter? Daddy's not around to protect you anymore? He's not even your real father. You're just a bad investment. Would you two shut the fuck up? Hold on. Why don't you make yourself useful and get your ass over here? Can't you see she's bleeding like a fountain? Give me that. One, relax. You've got this. Forensics have confirmed one of the bodies of the board. Castle Harris is confirmed dead. Blocks, dead. Bank is cleared. We're launching a clean sweep of the surrounding blocks. Outside. Check the Whoa, games. whoa. Settle down, big shot. You don't tell us what to do. And besides, what does it matter? There's no money. We're down two people. And quite frankly, I don't give a shit whose fault it is. I'm trying to get out of here before the damn boys in blue take out the rest of us. All right. What would you do? Might go, uh, I'll patch up the van. <laughs> no. I'll be fine. Someone knew too much. Someone wasn't supposed to be here. She's the unknown. I'm gonna blow her fucking brains out the second she gets back in here. King, relax. She's just a kid. I don't care if she's just a kid. Clearly she knew something. How the hell did she get in the van? Well, it's not like you could actually shoot her. We lost all our guns. Now tall, dark, and Florence Nightingale here was the last to see the Grand Master alive. Excuse me? I'm just saying, with our boss dead, you fucked this horn the kid. Why didn't you back him up? What was I supposed to do? He told me to run. So you left him there to die? <laughs> I guess a proper lady couldn't handle the pressure when it mattered. Perhaps you're right. Although it probably would have helped if our tech genius would have bothered to check the cameras before we walked into a suicide mission. Watch your mouth! I don't need to be a genius to fill a spoiled little bitch with lead. Shut up! We have bigger things to worry about. And what exactly is this bigger issue other than this bitch's loud mouth? trying to figure out how the pigs know our every move. They knew. It's time to move on. Two of our team are dead. Poor Rook. Thanks for that one, by the way. Excuse me? You gave the order to run. Just saying. Excuse me? And now our weaponsmith is six feet under with every ounce of ammo we had left. No guns, no grenades, nothing. When the cops show up, we're fucked. How did they know? We've always been one step ahead. It's all too convenient to be a coincidence. Why not quit eating around the bush and just say there's a rat? Yeah, I think there's a rat. You! Okay, look! And who the hell do you think you are interrupting me? Speak when spoken to. Enough! This infighting isn't solving anything. We need to get out of here. Look at me. There is no rat. For Christ's sake, of course there is. Think about it. 
No money in the vault. Ambush on the second floor, meant for business meetings only. The army of cops rushing in from above. There's no way in hell anyone outside of the people in this room knew. Someone had to tell. Who gives a shit? There's no money, and we don't have time for this crap. Knight, are we ready to go? Thank God. Peace out, motherfuckers. Whoever wants to come can, but I'm not sticking around and going to jail. Figures the rat will be the first one to scurry away. The fuck you just say? You heard me, rat. What good would it do me to get my employer killed, huh? All I care about is money. Not this legacy bullshit you guys keep going on about. And besides, isn't the king the next in line if the Grandmaster dies? Sounds like you have way more to gain than I do. No sign of the rest of the members of the board in Sector A5. Moving on to Sector A6. Let's pick up the pace. The chief wants them in as soon as possible. Let's move it. Uh-oh, the hits keep coming. They're getting close. Time to go. Bishop, where the fuck you think you're going? Yeah, what do you want, kid? Stay with us. We all need to be here, staying united. We can't do this without you. You are knight. Fuck that unity shit. The moment my money wasn't in that building, this was never my job. You get me a cut, then I'm your guy. Otherwise, piss off. Knight? Nah, 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 kid. You don't talk to him. You talk to me, and only me. Your old man knew that, so why can't you? Please, Bishop. You don't need to be in this crumbling castle, kid. Once your daddy died, it was every man for himself. You can come with, but you play by my rules, and my rules alone. No, but, but Queen, no, and- Fuck and... Queen, fuck King, fuck the board, fuck it all. You listen to me, kid, and I'll make you rich. My father never left his crew. His family. I won't either. Well, all right. Big words for a pawn. Good luck, kid. Talk to me. King, can you talk? What? King, you have a terrible poker face. It's easy to tell when something is off. It's Grandmaster now. You're not acting like it. I don't know how he did it. He always knew what to do, what to say, where to take people, where to send people. I just, I don't know how to do that, how to command that knowledge. There's a lot of responsibility that was just thrusted upon you. Maybe you're not cut out for it. Not everyone is. But I need to be, because I'm the Grand Master now, and this isn't the time to be having this conversation. The pigs will be on our tail at any moment. Where'd the kid go? We need to leave. Where are they? Left. They're gone. God damn it! Damn it! Run us out! Pieces of- King, you just told me we don't have time for this. No! Screw that! Little bastards ran out on us. Grab what gear you can. I want them found and I want them dead. King, take a walk. We need to be cool about this. You don't get to bark orders at me, little girl. King, take a walk now. I can't do this. It's alright, you're just overwhelmed with everything that's been going on. 
Queen, I have no idea what to do. Bishop and Knight Ran. He was a good dad. Always told the strangest bedtime stories when I was younger. Even some about my actual parents. It was nice hearing about them, knowing who they were, running the board before he did. We just looked out for each other, protecting each other, and I mean, I think that's what he took me in. To protect me, to keep this family alive. That's all I've ever wanted. To finally prove that I belong. After everything you've done today, you still question whether or not you belong? Who fixed my wound? Who helped fix the car those two bozos fled in? And who's been the only one focused on our escape and well-being rather than obsessing over who screwed us? Me. It was you, Casey. So forget about what the others think. Do you feel that you belong? I just know the grunt work. Here checkups, tune up some mild medical knowledge. I don't want to hear- Casey, no one knew what they were doing when they first got here. I was fresh out of medical school on my parents' dime when I had my first job. I was just some young punk who wanted to disobey our parents by joining a gang. And on my first job, I knew I was in too deep when the gang got split and I had to save King's life all on my own. I wasn't ready for that kind of responsibility, but I knew if I didn't do something, he would have done. And in that moment, I knew I needed to step up, and I did. Now it's your turn, Casey. Your growth has stunted your entire life by your father, and I'm sorry, but he's no longer here. It's time for you to take control. So either step up, step out of the way. <clears throat> so I was giving it some thought and what we're gonna- Actually, I was giving it some thought. There's a used car lot a few blocks from here. If we get there, I hot water the car, and we get out of here. If we're getting a car to do anything, we're going after those rat bastards. No, we're not going to do that. And would you quit with your obsession trying to find the rat? We're wasting time, and the cops are almost here. We need to move, now. No, it's personal now. And also, who are you to be giving us orders? King here or out, maybe she has a plan. You can't seriously think that this little girl is gonna get us out of this mess. What's your next big idea? She's gonna run the board? Why not me? Go on, King. Why can't I be in charge? Because this is the order of things. I call the shots now, and your daddy would want you listening to me. The order of things? Went out the window when we lost four people today. You keep my father's name out of your mouth. Otherwise, I will personally See to it, you settle your grievances with him. Face to face. Holy shit. Boss! Dad! <laughs> I'm so glad you're all right. How did you make it out? I, I swear I saw you go down. Nope. Don't worry, child. I, I would have done the same thing if I was in your shoes. So, uh, Knight, Bishop, Rook, did we lose them at the bank? Bishop and Knight ran. We took our ride with them. The cowards. They ran us out to the fence. And we lost Rook when we made our escape. That's a shame. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's go get those rat bastards. There's a used car lot not too far from here. Let's grab what gear we can and let's go. I agree. We should get a car. But this is no time to focus on personal vendettas, King. 
you need to get out of here now. No, we need to wait before we go anywhere. Wait, why would we wait boss? They can't be too far from here. And besides, the pigs will be on our tail at any moment. We have to go. Queen and I are in no position to move. Why don't we just uh, wait for these wounds to heal? We patched my wound up not too long ago. With some help, I can make it out of here. Great. Let's patch up as best we can. Pawn, start gathering our gear and let's go. I realize you need to step up in my absence, but as you can see, I'm not dead. Which means I'm still your grandmaster. My orders are the only orders you listen to. Alejandro comms. Pawn, you get the last minute gear together. Queen, I don't, I don't think that's wholly necessary. This is car 55. We're in hot pursuit of Tobias Smith and Wilson Stewart. Has Magnus revealed the location of the other three yet? Dad? What did you do? It was you. This entire time, we're looking for a rat, and it was you! How could you do this to us? King, settle down. Settle down! You betrayed us! We trusted you completely, and you threw us to the wolves, and for what? Well, you... you, you Actually, you never did. mind. I don't give a shit about what you have to say. Rook is dead because of you. Unfortunate consequence of doing business. You son of a bitch, I'll kill you! Don't worry, darling. You'll be joining him soon. How could you do this to me? To us? We trusted you. We did everything for you. We. I would have given my life for you. Magnus, you were like a father to me. It's, it's because I'm your father that I did this. It's not my intention to hurt you. You weren't supposed to be here. But these, these people, it's not the type of life for you. You're, you're, you're better, better than these criminals. That's why, that's why I made the deal with the feds. I get a slap on the wrist for turning over these low-life thieves. These so-called criminals? They're my friends. They're my family, and they were yours too. Okay, Casey, please, please. I did this for you. I did it for you. You remember? Remember all those bedtime stories I used to tell you? Did you ever wonder why I left them unfinished? It's because good people like your parents end up dead. I wanted you to have a better life. This isn't it. How would anyone know if this life was meant for me or not? When you never gave me the chance to make my own decisions. That's what my grandmaster, your father wanted. Everyone keeps talking about what someone else wanted for me. That ends today. Casey, don't walk away from me. Queen, stop her. Ingrid! You're, you're making a big mistake. You don't know what's out there. Trust me, I know what they're bringing. Casey! I'm your grandmaster! <laughs>